Hey everyone, Michael here, and this is a video of ServiceMate tips and features to help keep your team connected and working together in the cloud. We'll particularly look at handy tips when it comes to communication between office staff and technicians moving around in the field. So, on to the first tip. The reality for anyone managing a team which work in the field is that you don't know for sure where everyone is and what they're doing, which makes it hard to gain insights to make improvements, react to opportunities throughout the day, and generally make smart, fast decisions without constantly checking in with everyone. There are some simple but handy features in ServiceMate to help in this space. Online, in the staff schedules view, whenever a team member in the field has opened a job card and tapped start job, and is either navigating to that job or they've checked into that job, an icon will appear next to them here. So we can see here that Charlie has checked in to job 109 about 24 minutes ago. Here, Cameron is navigating to job 101 and should arrive by 9.30. Now what if there's no icon displaying here? First question, have they clocked on in the service made app? Online, you can tell if someone's clocked on because of the color of their staff icon here. If it's gray, it means they're not clocked on. Staff can clock on to their shift in the activity tab here or when they check in to the first job of the day. Remember, clocking on is different to checking in and out of jobs. You clock on and off of your shift, and during your shift, you check in and out of jobs. Okay, so they clocked on, but there's still no icon. Let's go to the dispatch map and try to find them. If you can't see them, try clicking the down arrow next to their icon, then locate. When you find them, Click the icon and you'll get a pop-up with information on how long ago they were at that location and if they've actually stopped, how long since they arrived there. And similar to the icons we saw in staff schedules, whenever someone is navigating or checked into a job, they'll have a box above their staff icon here with their status. Similarly, in the app, you can see the location of staff members in the field. Tap jobs, then tap map but unfortunately there's not the same level of information about their status because, well, you can't have everything. Sorry. A general word on all this functionality. It only works properly when everyone's devices are set to provide ServiceMate location access all of the time. Further, everyone needs to make an effort to use ServiceMate properly. This means using the app, clocking on, navigating to jobs, checking into jobs, completing checklists. It all keeps everyone else in the loop. If you're in an industry like electrical, refrigeration, plumbing, gas, or locksmithing, where you need to respond to urgent callouts, you're probably aware of ServiceMate's functionality in this space, but we'll go over it anyway. So if a client calls up with an urgent job, you can use all the features we just covered to see the availability of staff to respond. So you would check out everyone's schedules for the day, see where everyone is in relation to the new urgent jobs address, see how long someone's been checked into their current job, check out their progress in the job diary. All of these kinds of things help you understand your capability to respond and also to manage customer expectations without a lot of back and forth between you and your staff and your client. So once you've decided, drag the new unscheduled job onto the staff member's icon that's going to respond. The urgent dispatch window will appear. You can add a message, then instantly dispatch the job. Also, if you have the job allocations add-on enabled, this window will look a little bit different, but as long as the booking window is set to urgent, it will work the same way. Now, whoever was selected for the urgent job will instantly receive a push notification that they've been allocated an urgent job. It will also be at the top of their schedule in the app. From there, they should start and navigate to the job and notify the client that they're on the way. If you're the one taking the calls and in charge of job dispatch, but you're not at your computer, you can also dispatch urgent jobs from the ServiceMate app. Create the job, tap save, then tap urgent dispatch. You'll get a pop-up which sets out where everyone is in relation to the new job address, their availability, and the approximate time it will take to get there. Keep in mind you can only access this special map view immediately after saving the new job. But if this doesn't work for you, no worries, you can still dispatch urgent jobs another way. Enable the job allocations add-on and you'll be able to dispatch urgent jobs to staff through the add booking button in the job card. Just tap add booking, allocate, select the staff member, set the booking window to urgent and then tap book. 
Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, you can't entirely avoid texting or calling team members. When it comes to texts and instant messaging, there are lots of options available to message your team outside of Service Bank. But there are some good reasons to try moving this communication into Service Bank. First of all, to send an instant message to another team member from the online dashboard, click the down arrow next to their icon, then send message. Messages are sent as a push notification, appearing on the receiving device's home screen and accessible in the top right corner of the activity tab. Replies back to the staff online will pop up in the dispatch board. For broader team messaging, you can use the activity feed. If you need certain team members to know about it, you can tag them like this and they'll receive a notification. Tagging staff also works in job notes as well, which is a really effective shortcut to bring communication about a specific job directly into that job's record. You can tag a staff member in a job card, they'll get a notification item and when they tap that, it'll open the job, they can view the note in the diary and they can respond if needed. Tagging from a job card means the tag staff member immediately knows which job the message is about and communication is saved in a central job record. Similarly, you can also tag specific jobs in job notes and activity feed posts. Just type a hashtag immediately followed by the job number. This will become a hyperlink to open that specific job card. Now, sometimes it just makes more sense to phone someone, but if for some reason you don't have their number, or you're already in the ServiceMate app, keep in mind that you can call or FaceTime another team member by going to the More tab, tapping Staff, then tapping their name. So, handy feature there. Next. The last thing we'll cover is notifications, as in the kind of events and actions that will push notifications between technicians using the app in the field and staff using the online dashboard. So understanding more about when notifications are automatically sent is pretty handy because you'll know when a technician will be notified about a new job or a schedule change, uh, which can then save doubling up with a message or a phone call. So here are some of the main types of notifications. When you're logged into the ServiceMate app, you'll be notified on your device when a new job is scheduled to you at a time later that day, when a job scheduled that day is rescheduled to a new time, when an urgent job is allocated to you, when a job is allocated for a non-specific time, such as during business hours, when a job scheduled to you later the same day is canceled, when an allocated job is canceled, and when you receive an instant message from another team member, which we covered before. A quick note on these notifications. They're push notifications received through the service made app using the internet and cellular data. So you need to ensure everyone's devices are set to allow notifications from ServiceMate. Otherwise, they won't get them. Moving on to the online dashboard. When you're logged into ServiceMate online, you'll see notification boxes pop up in the bottom left of screen. These will pop up when a team member checks into a job, when a team member checks out of a job, which will also include a note on the job's duration, when someone tags you in an activity feed post or a job note, when someone comments on one of your activity feed posts, and when you're assigned a task. Plus, if you're logged in online, but you have jobs scheduled to yourself as well, you'll get the same kind of notification pop-ups about new jobs and scheduling changes that you would in the ServiceMate app. So try to make a habit of keeping on top of your notifications, being those that appear on your home screen, as well as under the notification bells of the app and the online dashboard. To recap, we've looked at how to stay in tune with the staff locations and status, urgent job dispatch, messaging people, calling people, tagging people, tagging jobs, and the kind of actions which automatically notify the right team members at the right time, keeping everyone connected. I hope these tips help you and your team work together in the cloud. Please check out the ServiceMate Help Center if you need more information or the Learning Roadmap series of help videos and articles you can access directly through your online dashboard. Take care, see you later.